All right, all right. <laughs> it takes such a long time to type, but we have done it. <laughs> We've done it. All is aligned, all is well. Happy day, welcome. Welcome to this amazing day. Hello. So I am just grateful for this day. I'm grateful for this time because I would like to take a moment to be still and just sit. I've spent the morning doing some graphic design, designing websites. So whenever getting into that kind of mode, it's like go, go, go. And then time is just flown by and yeah so I'm grateful for this time with myself and with you yes you love yourself yes 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 <laughs> I love myself yes <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so grateful for you. So grateful. <laughs> so it is that day, that day of the week that everyone gets excited of endings of, well, you know, it's just been a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, celebrate that we made it through the first four days. <laughs> I did do a session, uh, I think it was last week, where we talked about time transcendence. I don't really measure time anymore. It's more of a, well, a thing to keep up with other humans, a, a thing to keep up with other people. Of course, if you live in a society where you don't um, ascribe or agree with something that is in alignment, then you accept that it exists and then accept how you want to exist within it. You don't just completely dissociate from the fact that it exists. Time is a wonderful thing to be mindful, to ground self in, to keep self in boxes. If you want to be in a container, if you want to be in a box, times are great for that. I am literally a master planner, a master time person like I teach people how to implement time blocks into their lives so that they can get stuff done uh, but there's a point of release on the other side of being like time does not exist the only thing that is making us time is the fact that the Sun rises and sets every day in a certain way for us in this region and um, there's this essential reset when really everything is just one big stretch of things that are happening and we often forget that this whole thing is quite cyclical life is quite cyclical but it's also just this ever never ending timeline so keep keep going because if you're stopping you're literally stopping but but it keeps keeps going on without you with or without you and 
I can see where someone can just, oh, that's just so sad. I don't make that much of an impact. I feel so small. I feel so useless. But the thing is, is that you are so powerful. Where you make up on that strip of the timeline is so important, so impactful. If you were not there in every moment that you were there, the whole experience for everyone else would have changed, would be different. So don't ever think that you're not making an impact everywhere you go. And that's why it's so important to, to take note of how you are showing up to the other souls, to the other people. What energy are you giving off to them? Are you carrying how you feel to the other people? Or are you being mindful and having the mindfulness time, meditating, getting one-on-one -on -one time with yourself so that you can ground yourself and spread light when you walk out the door. <laughs> just spreading light just, just because you took time for yourself and did things for yourself. How wonderful. So take this time to think about what you're going to do this weekend, this wonderful block of time you get off from the capitalist machine. <laughs> oh my goodness. So during this break, what are you going to do for yourself? What are you going to do for yourself this weekend? Write it down. Write down this weekend for myself. I'm going to implement this. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to go for a long walk. I'm going to go to the lake this weekend. I'm going to go to that event that I RSVP'd for and really just don't want to put the effort in to go, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. I'm going to make a new art paint piece. <laughs> I'm going to paint a new art piece. <laughs> Don't know how to paint, don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to buy a canvas and paint and have a paint night with myself. I'm going to get some face mask and watch my favorite show or my favorite movie that was my favorite when I was 15. <laughs> um, what, what are you going to do for yourself? Get creative and know that you get to do this every single, you can do it every day, but try to do it every week. Try to do, implement something new into your life every day, every week that you can. It's so important because this, this cyclical, super long stretched out timeline, oh my God, it can get so, dare we say boring. We can't allow life to get boring. Look at us, we're humans. Like we get to do so much. We get to be so much. You can choose to be a whole new person today. Go by a whole new name, start ta speaking differently and go meet brand new people today who are gonna know you as that new person. <laughs> have fun with your life. Like have so much fun. You get to do that. Oh my gosh. I hope you get to the point of just exploring and being a creative soul with other souls. Just putting yourself into public situations and seeing where life takes you. Just watching people, meeting people, and seeing where the night takes you, who you meet. It's so awesome. <laughs> oh, and I'm about to go traveling, so that's gonna be just epic. So epic. But yeah, be curious about life and love yourself enough to do this for yourself. Do this. So we're just going to be still for a moment now and just breathe all of that in. Breathe in what you are gifting yourself this weekend. What's something new that you can bring your soul this weekend? Take a deep breath. What do you get to do this weekend? Mm. Just watch your thoughts come and go. 
just take note and observe what comes up to you right now. What does your body want to do? What does your soul want to do?
take a deep breath into your vessel. How does the pause feel? And what did you decide you're doing for yourself, for your soul this weekend? Type it, let's see it. What are you doing for yourself and your soul this weekend? I'm hydrating a lot. It's quite hot here. We are in the 80s. Well, it's like it's 80. It's 77. Just beautiful. I'm so grateful. But I am feeling the need to hydrate a lot more. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I received many messages as I was meditating. It becomes a point where you're kind of, you just can't wait to meditate. You're just so, you need to do it. You can't wait because you want to get some answers. It's like, not knowing things is definitely an, an, an annoyance <laughs> and it's been a whole transcendence mission of learning to be okay with not knowing what is going to happen next though you can get a little insight of what you would where you would at least like to go in life and let the universe know where you want to go in life so that you can you take care too have an amazing weekend Mwah. you're so welcome um just taking yeah taking the moment that's just so amazing um going into alignment with what i was saying <laughs> thank you um yeah, love yourself enough to take the moment, meditating and just sitting still and being and bringing it all back to you and what you want to think, like where you want to go next, rather than being completely unaware, rather than being completely in the unknown. You get to at least get a little insight if you sit still with yourself. What a blessing. What a blessing. And if you really want to get super deep, if you want to get spiritual with it, <laughs> spiritual with it. <laughs> oh, my channeling. That's so wonderful. You want to get spiritual with it. Think about the divine source that is within you as a being. Okay. Think about the divine connection to source and how it is one within you. Think about how you can become friends with that energy and even manifest what you desire by harnessing that energy within. The divine source, your pure knowledge of it, your acknowledgement of the divine, of the source within, is your power forward as a human being. Your life changes the moment you realize that your source your your God is within you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A breath. Ah, invite the breath of a God source within your being. It's why we are all connected. It's why we are all one. It's why when you're next to someone and they're feeling something, you feel it too. It's why you cannot help but... Oh my goodness, all the years of being in the, the, the hatred standpoint. Oh, I hate people, I hate people. But then all of a sudden you're a healer and you want to help people. 
I wonder how and I wonder why. It's because at the end of the day, we are all here to learn that we are here for each other. We are here for one another and that it starts here. It starts within the soul, within the vessel and getting to know self so that when those other souls do come to you and they don't know who they are and they don't know who you are and they're treating you as this box of type of person, you get to tell them who you are. Hey, look here, human, I understand that you perceive the type of my type of person, the type of person that I am in a certain way, and that's wonderful, but I'm here to correct you. I am not the preconceived notions that you have within your mind, within your psyche, and I'm going to let you know exactly who I am because I spend my time getting to know myself so that when I go out into the world, I get to be an exact example of how I expect to be treated, how I align to be aligned with, and those who are not aligned, any actions that are not aligned, anything that is not from unconditional love and power that I exude within, is repelled. It's gone. There's no place for it in my aura, in my life, in my light. And so by me being that, by me learning that, and by me teaching that, we receive a world with more boundaries. We receive a world of more self-love. We receive a world of more aware people who are not standing to be called or to be put in a box or to be misrepresented or labeled. We stand as people who know ourselves, souls who know ourselves, who are aware of ourselves and who are not afraid to take criticism from outside sources, but also are not afraid to do the work, not afraid to go home later and maybe journal about that thing that was a disappointment with somebody at the coffee shop. I'm telling you, <laughs> I get many, a, um, I spread a lot of light and I receive a lot of light, but I also get a lot of tense energy around me. And I always ask myself, what was my point in that? What was my thing in that? And I do know that I'm here to teach lessons. I'm here to shock people and be out there and really just be shaking things up. But I really go through some things sometimes that I'm like, what? So, but the world that we exist in, we're not afraid to turn the mirror around, the reflection around, the pointing finger around and be like, where do I stand in this and what was my hand in this? It's so important. It's so important. And I remember actually being with someone and they couldn't embody or understand how someone could be that way. How someone could be met with opposition and then turn it around and truly train and learn how to be the opposite. And I'm telling you, I'm that person, especially for my partner. If my partner says, well, you are overbearing in this sense at this time blah 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 I would definitely look at that within myself and be like have I been overbearing okay I can understand how there that would be an overbearing moment I can definitely take a moment to to look at it and see what I can change <laughs> or see what I can just look at I, I may not change I my, the feedback was that I don't change <laughs> but always within I feel as though I do when I've done the work and so you know, people don't change habits and things overnight, of course, but um, the awareness is everything, and I'm, I'm someone who will be the self-aware person. Call me out, let me know what's going on with me, because there's no way that other people can know unless you let them know. So, there's that. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a wonderful, what a wonderful life. I mean, we have just, we have all of the power to get everything that we want. Everything. You can change your life tomorrow. Literally tomorrow. I want to challenge you to think of something, okay? So what's happening is at the end of this month, like less than 30 days, I am headed to the continent of Africa. I'm beginning in Tanzania and um, Zanzibar possibly. 
I'm literally, I'm literally, um, just planning it as I go. I'm not overthinking. I'm not overdoing it. I'm just really just aligning with what aligns with me. And there are just some, some things that I haven't booked yet because I'm not in alignment with it quite yet. It's not a, it's not a yes. And so that's what's kind of holding my trip back a little bit. Well, it's not holding my trip back. It's, it's holding back my planning. But for sure I'm leaving within, I'm leaving at the end of the month. And once I am within Africa at the end of the month in December, I'm going to pretty much be traveling, meeting people, spreading my light, working my mission, just doing doing my thing out there with all of the people of the world. And so I wanted what I wanted to do was I wanted to challenge you to a certain mindset. And that is that you are here to make whatever amount of money you need for lodging sleeping somewhere to sleep and food that day that's all it needs to be covered okay what are you doing for the rest of your day don't think about what you're doing to get the money that's going to fund where you're gonna sleep or where you're gonna eat but what are you doing with your day should all of that be covered Think about that and think about that for the next, like write it down and think about it for the next while, okay? The next week, the next two weeks. And you'll find that there are a lot of things planted within your life that may be um, very much material, much more material than you would like and very much attachments. What attachments can you let go as a soul within this human body what can you let go because all you need is somewhere to sleep somewhere to eat and then what are you doing with your purpose your purpose is not to make money you're not here to be in a job you're not here to take care of anyone specific <laughs> you are here for something bigger than what you have been doing. So it's time to feel into that. Provided you have somewhere to sleep, somewhere to eat, what are you doing with your day to serve your purpose? Breathe into that. As I'm traveling, I'm going to be producing some meditations based completely around traveling so that you can embody getting on the plane getting to the destination doing what it is that you want to do so that you can make it happen it's gonna be so amazing so powerful for you as you embody this powerful life that is yours. You deserve it. You deserve the world. And you are going to receive it. You receive it. The world.
so beautiful to take that moment with self. You deserve it. It's your energy. It's your life and you owe it to nobody. To nobody at all. This is your energy. Take it back. Hold it and fill your cup before pouring it all out to everybody else. Happy weekend and spread that powerful energy once you get it. Don't stay in that hermit mode. Get out there. Spread your light. Mm. Love yourself, beautiful soul. Love yourself. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. So excited for you. <laughs> hmm.